Hi friends. In our last video, we built a fun app to resize images. You could upload an image, enter the desired width and height, and the app would generate a resized version for you. It was a great way to learn about handling image files and user input in Gradio. Today, we're switching gears and diving into something new, a trivia app. Instead of working with images, we'll use a radio button to let users select an answer to a programming-related question. The app will then check their answer and let them know if they're correct. Let's build it together and explore how radio buttons work in Gradio. All right, let's start updating our app. First, I'm going to replace the previous input and output components with a new setup. For the input, I'll use a radio button, which will allow users to select their answer from a list of options, Java, C++, Python, and JavaScript. I've also added a label to make the question clear which programming language is known as the snake. For the output, I'll switch to a text box where the app will display whether the selected answer is correct or not. Now, let's run the application and see how it looks on the screen. Here's our new interface. Now that we've updated the input and output components, it's time to adjust the function to handle the new logic. I'm going to rename the function to check answer, which makes its purpose clear. Next, I'll add a parameter named selected option, which will capture the user's choice from the radio button. Inside the function, I'm defining Python Sri as the correct answer. Then, I'm adding a conditional structure to check whether the selected option matches the correct answer. If it does, the function will return a success message. Now, if this is a correct, Python is the right answer. Otherwise, it will display a message letting the user know the answer is incorrect and provide the correct one. With the function updated, I'll also update the interface reference to use defn equals check answer. Now let's run the app and test it. First, uh, I'll select the wrong answers. Let's see what happens. As expected, the app lets me know I'm incorrect and shows the correct answer. Finally, I'll choose Python to see the success message appear. Everything's working perfectly. In the next video, we'll explore another exciting example and continue learning together. See you then.